You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. That is right. Brian Cashman, you may not be that guy, but Adam Frazier, I believe, and many others believe too, is that guy. So, folks, you have heard me talk about Brian Frazier, my God, for years now. Years now. I mean, going back to last year, the year before that, um, I've been on the the Brian, the, the Adam Frazier hype train for quite some time, and um, I've been accurate with uh, some of the calls that I've made to get guys here, and even before that, it wasn't necessarily a rumor. It was just an idea that I had to add a guy like this because it makes so much sense for the current Yankees lineup and their roster construction, which we're going to get into very soon, but now it's legit. Um, since I believe last year, I put the information out there that I was told that the Yankees were interested in Adam Frazier last offseason, uh, the COVID year offseason, um, before the world went to hell. And there was a rumor out there that the Yankees were actually interested in acquiring Adam Frazier. And there was also the possibility if... Um, LeMayu did not come back, that Frazier could be a guy the Yankees go after. But I almost feel like now is just the time. And the reason I want to make this video is I want to make it clear why Adam Frazier is really the best guy for the Yankees, no matter what. And what I mean by no matter what is whether the Yankees win the next 10 games in a row or lose the next 10 games in a row, and they decide on being buyers, sellers, or as we at NOY News have been calling for for a while, a real legitimate retooling. Either way, any of those options, Adam Frazier is the guy, in my opinion, he is that guy. He's the guy to go out there and get for the New York Yankees. We'll figure out cost, what it may take. But first, I want to go over a couple of different things. One of them is Adam Frazier, okay? The guy you're seeing on the screen right now. This year for the Pittsburgh Pirates, updated stats as of today, 325, four home runs, 31 RBIs. Go into a little more detail on those numbers here. He has scored 53 runs this year, 27 doubles, has 118 hits already, which will definitely on pace for a career high there, definitely on pace for a career high in runs, on pace for a career high in doubles, 27 right now, uh, four triples, Four homers, 31 RBIs, 33 walks, uh, 44 strikeouts in his 363 at-bats. So this man puts the bat on the ball, which the Yankees need. Again, 325, on-base percentage 390, slugging 455, OPS 844, career high there. Uh, career high in average, career high in on-base percentage. So Adam Frazier is now... 29 years old, entering those peak seasons um, that you want in a player, right? You want to try to get these guys here. If you hold on to them, you want to keep them throughout these years. Pirates are not holding on to them. Adam Frazier is going to be traded, and he's going to be a hot commodity. There's going to be a lot of teams out there interested in Frazier, and a lot of teams are going to want him. Why does he make sense for the Yankees? One, I do not expect him to cost your major, major talent that if you know if you follow Jeff Passan, whatever the hell his name is, I call him Jeff Pissant because I feel like he's uh he thinks you know he's like some celebrity gossiper uh, nowadays, which is kind of odd. But uh, he's not Stephen A. And I don't like Stephen A. that much, but I think he wants to be like Stephen A. That's what Francis said, and I actually agree with that. But anyway, he said today, and and this is again what a lot of us have expected, and uh, a lot of what I've been told and not told, and things of that nature that. The Yankees are expected to hold on to their top prospects. Now, who those guys are is up to you. But I believe those guys are Jason Dominguez, Oswald Peraza, Austin Wells, possibly Anthony Volpe. I think those are the guys. Maybe a Luis Medina. Maybe a Luis Heel. I think Heel may be more traded. I don't think Garcia is that guy anymore. I don't think Clark Smith is that guy anymore. So um, there, there's a few of those different names out there. Now... I proposed a little fun trade scenario, and I will throw that on the screen here. This is from the MLB value trade calculator thing, whatever the hell you want to call it, but I always add Rich Rodriguez in the deal because I think that will make a ton of sense for the Yankees. You could shorten games a little more. You could potentially move your guys like um, uh, Justin Wilson, who has no real spot here. O'Day, we know, is out for the year, so you help, you, you know, you knock two stones out right here. Uh, for the Yanks, and then possibly maybe you could add another back-end or decent starter. 
and you know you maybe go for it this year. But the, both of these guys help you in uh, 2020, and then all in 2021. I'm sorry, and also 2022, as neither one of them will be free agents at that time. So the Yankees will still have them for a year or so. The Yankees here are giving up Kevin Alcantara, Luis Heel, and Antonio Gomez. Now these are not bums, mind you. Luis Heel is the Yankees' number five prospect. Antonio Gomez is the Yankees number uh la 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 la, la. I believe he is in the top 20. He is their 21 ranked prospect and Kevin Alcantara is their 12th ranked prospect. So you're not giving up um the elite of the elite even though a lot of people feel Antonio Gomez is the best young catcher besides for Austin Wells who many don't believe is going to stick at catcher that the Yankees have. And Kevin Alcantara, a lot of people have great hopes for him, and Luis Heel is doing terrific, and he can help many clubs now, coming coming very soon. So if you're the Pirates, that makes a lot of sense. Even though the Pirates just drafted a fir- their first-round pick was a catcher, you know, Antonio Gomez is young enough where if you need to switch positions with him or keep developing, developing him there and find another spot for him eventually, you still got it, but the talent is there. You see how those tattoos calculators kind of add up, and that deal is a deal that would be accepted on this website. So overall, the reason why I really like Frazier so much is, one, his personality is great. Everything you see about Frazier, um, he is well-liked. He is a leader. He's a lefty bat. He puts the ball in play. He's a great defender at second base, and I know right away you know, you would think, well, Pete, don't we kind of have a second baseman? Don't we have a shortstop? Don't we have people in the position he's playing? Yeah, we do. But again, as I said before, the Yankees have to see this deadline as a, do we really think we could do enough to make this current club a winner? Possibly not. Now, today they call the best of on Floriel. It's something I've been harping on for a long time. Get him up here and see what he is. See what he can do. Um, so... Adding Frazier now, with a guy like Floriel up, you could have Frazier in left field the rest of this year, have Flo in center field. Now you just added two lefty bats, but you've got to give him a shot. You know what I mean? So, But for Frazier in general, moving forward, because this year you can find a spot for him. It doesn't matter. It's like Francis even said. Hell, if you got to throw this guy in center field just to get his bat in the lineup, do it. Do it. Unless he's an absolute catastrophe out there, do it. So moving forward, though, it gives you the option to move a Luke Voigt. You will have your first baseman, DJ LeMayu. The Yankees know we signed him to a six-year deal. There's going to be a time where he's probably going to get off a second base. I think that's only fair, right? And with that being said, you then go ahead and move him to first base now. You got your gold glove second baseman. You automatically improve the right side of your infield with... um, DJ LeMayu and Frazier, LeMayu at first base, Frazier at second base, and then you figure out from there, do you keep Glaber Torres around? Do you trade Glaber Torres potentially for legitimate high prospects? Do you trade him for guys that can help you right now? Do you potentially look at a deal for Glaber to get more prospects to then deal those prospects for maybe a starting pitcher that you want in the offseason, a controllable guy that's around for a while that you could partner with your Garrett Cole and continue to build the rotation from there? There are so many different things that you can do here. And as you guys see on the screen, this is when Frazier was mic'd up. And you really get a feel for his personality here. Um, just the type of guy he is and the player he is. is pretty cool when baseball does this. A lot of people are asking that it happens more. I also like this too. I think it brings a, a, a personality even more to the game. But moving forward again, like I said, it adds so much value to this ball club and what they can do going forward. I see Adam Frazier as a puzzle piece to a puzzle that has many missing spots. And he can start that connection to build a roster that Brian Cashman needs to build. Now, I'm going to come out here and say, I do not feel Brian Cashman is that guy to do this. Okay? So, Brian. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. Maybe he'll prove me wrong, and man, do I hope he does. But I am still concerned of the way this Yankee roster is constructed and the idea that potentially 
we are are just going to keep on full force with the same philosophy that just has not worked. I'm hoping that's not the case, but I believe that is the case, and maybe I'll be proven wrong, but Adam Frazier is the guy that the Yankees need. Again, no matter if they sell, buy, or retool, gave you all the reasons. It will not cost your top of your tops, your Dominguez, your Volpe, your Peraza. Shouldn't cost those guys, but it's going to cost a decent amount, as you saw on there. Maybe your Luis Hill you got to part with. One of those guys, maybe a Medina and your Kevin Alcantara, your Antonio Gomez. I do have word. I reported this a while back. You can go find it on the Twitter somewhere that the Pirates are interested in those guys. I don't know if the Antonio Gomez type thing shifted now that they drafted their first round pick uh, catcher. Maybe it did. We don't know that. But I'm going off the knowledge that I have and what I've been told of who they like in the Yankees. And remember, as I said this before many, many times, they are very familiar with with the New York Yankees system. So a deal could come together very, very quick. Brian Cashman just got to be willing to part with what it will take. We hear that he doesn't want to part with the top guys in his organization. Well, Brian Cashman, who the hell knows? That could be the top 15. We don't really know with this guy, do we? Um, but it, again, the puzzle, the piece of the puzzle that can really make everything else start opening up and making sense of everything, giving you options in the offseason to really build this club. That's the route the Yankees need to take. I don't care if they went on a 10-game winning streak. That is still the route the Yankees need to take. This current club has its issues. They got to figure it out. This is the move to make. Adam Frazier, my friend, you are that guy, okay? Let's see this. Oh, yeah, that ball is gone. That got to be out. Is it out? It is high. It is for known. Off the wall. Just another double, maybe a try. Ah, it's going to be a triple with those wheels. As he rounds second base, sliding in. Actually, he just needs to stand up on that, baby. It is a triple for Adam Frazier. And here's another one. Oh, God. I love it. I love it. Let's do that at Yankee Stadium. Look at those little wheels. Go, little wheels. Slides in another double. Anyway, guys, this has been the one, the only Simonetti source with the team of all teams. There's none better than N. Why, why news? Subscribe, like, share. If you're a Yankee fan, a baseball fan, a soccer fan, a rugby fan, I don't care. Subscribe here because the entertainment is real. NYY News, check us out. Arby, Francis, Joe, Austin, Felix, the entire club doing it all. You guys are the best. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Adam Frazier to the Yankees. Is this the move to make? Is he that guy? Is he that guy? No matter what, is he that guy? Talk to you guys very, very soon. Thank you. Yeah,